Have you ever seen crime dramas where the criminal tries to prevent their victim from yelling, talking, or screaming by putting something in or over their mouth? But does that actually work? We're going to test out many of the ones you've seen to finally find out if they actually work. Now, let's get started. First, we're going to pretend my hands are tied from behind so I can't use my hands at all to assist. The comment section on this one is going to be a little ridiculous. Sock. Let's roll it up first. This is why I study neuroscience in grad school, to put a sock in my mouth. Some of you have waited a very long time for me to do this. This ain't Texas. <gasps> Stop the music. It doesn't work. You just spit it out as you can probably guess, you know? It doesn't matter, it's in your mouth and it's big. And it... Comment section, all right? Be easy, okay? You know, keep it PG-ish. <laughs> duct tape. Does a single piece of duct tape stop someone from talking? Don't ask me how I know this. You can just speculate in the comments because it doesn't matter what I say, you're still gonna speculate in the comments anyway. All right, here we go. Stop the music. It just becomes easily undone because your mouth can move and it's also has a lot of moisture in your mouth and it's not wide enough either. So we can try something else. Two pieces of duct tape. Does two pieces of duct tape stop someone from talking or screaming? Did your boots stop working? Did your truck break down? Did you burn through money? Did your ex find out where there's a will? Stop the music! It's just a matter of time before you can kind of work your way through it. It takes a little bit longer, your jaw moves too much, and also your mouth has moisture in it, so it's just gonna eventually work its way off. Let's try three pieces of duct tape. Well, three pieces of duct tape now actually stop someone from talking. Remember, don't try this at home. I like the way you kiss me. I like the way you. Uh -huh. Oh, it's harder. At first, it's kind of like, oh, shoot, this is actually on there. I don't know if this is coming off. Because it's on your mouth, you have access to moisture and you're able to kind of work it through eventually because you're able to slightly open your mouth and then you're able to work your tongue through it and you're able to get your uh, duct tape off your mouth. Now let's try cloth in the mouth tied around to the back of the head. Again, don't try this at home. This is for science, okay? Come on, pour me up a double shot of whiskey. Stop the music. Basically, I'm able to get it out of my mouth because my jaw and my neck is very movable. <laughs> so if you see crime shows with something like this in their mouth, it's probably not really doing anything. It's just making them a little uncomfortable. Now let's try duct tape around the head. She's been telling me all night long Gasoline and groceries The list goes on and on It's 9 to 5 ain't working Why the hell do I work so hard? I can't worry about my problems I can't take them when I'm gone uh, One, here comes the two to the three to the four Tell them bring another round, we need plenty more 
sitting on the table, she don't need a dance floor. Oh my. Stop the music. Basically, as soon as you're able to stick your tongue out at all, you're gonna be able to work it through. Because a duct tape's worst enemy is moisture. It's moisture. How do I can get this off? Ah, it hurts. <laughs> ah. This is gonna hurt. Oh, damn it. Ah, oh, it hurts. Oh, oh. Oh, it really hurts. Ow. Ah. So that doesn't work either. <laughs> You may be asking if duct tape doesn't work, a sock in the mouth, a, a cloth in the mouth doesn't work. None of that works. Then what does work? I'm not going to tell the world. <laughs> Subscribe for more.